Hello, Randall and Murphy here, Thursday, October 25th, 2012 AD, and today uh, I'm going to talk about the new iMac. They just announced this uh, product yesterday. It looks really cool. There's some things I don't like about it though, and there's some things I really do like about it. So I thought I would make a video going over the good things, the bad things, and the things they need to change. Okay? So just looking at it, it's very thin, very lightweight. Of course, the first, first thing you notice is that with the standard configuration, they give you the short keyboard, which I prefer the long keyboard. Of course, you in, in, if you order it online, you can change that. You can order it with the longer, the professional keyboard. So I'm going to go up here to the uh, tech specs here. And... The one, of course, that I'm going to want is the 27 inch for base price of uh, $19.99. So it's a 3.2 gigahertz uh, quad core Intel i5, turbo boost 3.6 with 6 megabytes of L3 cache, configurable with 3.4 gigahertz, which is cool, quad core. Turbo boost up to 3.9, so that's pretty cool. Next, we want to talk about the RAM or memory. Uh, standard is 8 gigabytes, but it's also configurable to 16 or 32. I would recommend the 32, which that's a lot more than most people need, but it's always better to have too much than not enough when it comes to computer memory. You want more RAM, it makes the system operate faster. And it's just, you know, if you want to run a lot of things at once, or it just, it's always, it comes to memory and RAM, it's just always have, better to have more. Okay. Now, storage gets interesting. We have a standard one terabyte, which is lots of room. But if I was going to do it, based on what I saw in the uh, uh, keynote sp uh, speech that's on Apple's website right now, the three terabyte fusion drive which is basically three terabytes of standard hard drive with a built-in flash drive. So it's three, three terabytes plus, I think, I think it was 256 uh, gigabytes of uh, storage, if I remember right. But what it does, basically it stores, it stores all the uh, OS or operating system on the flash drive, so it starts up very, very fast. Then you also have a three uh, terabyte, one terabyte or three terabyte hard drive. Well, with the Fusion Drive, it's a three, uh, one or three uh, terabyte Fusion Drive. So basically, all the operating system is on the Flash. Then the one or the three is for all your extra files and other stuff. And it even has a neat feature, which I thought was pretty neat. It, it, it learns what you're using the most. For example, if you're using one application or one set of files, the more it actually transitions them to the flash part of the uh, hard drive. Plus, it has the benefit of it, it only shows up as one hard drive. It doesn't show up as two partitions or two hard drives. It shows up as one device. And uh, it automatically has the OS on the flash. And it's seamless. The integration between the uh, OS on the flash and the regular is seamless, which is really, really cool. Eventually, of course, they're going to have it where it's all flash because it's uh, better and faster. It's just a matter of cost and size. Right now, there's limitations on co because of cost. It costs more and the size of the drive. So eventually, eventually, it's all going to be flash. But it's just right now, the price and size of the technology needs to go down both in price and size. So it's it's one of those things in time it, they'll work it out, I'm sure. But for now that's what that, that's what we're dealing with. Graphics, NVIDIA, got all kinds of really gigabyte of RAM, two gigs of memory, that's real cool. FaceTime, still not a thousand eighty P, but it is seven twenty, which is an improvement for what I've got. Uh, stereo speakers, although they did mention the speakers aren't as good and the new one, are that now? It's not a matter of being good; it's that they're not as loud as the uh, 
previous speakers because they're not as big and they're, they're thinner and they're basically they don't produce as much volume. I mean, they can't go up as loud, which I think is a downsize. I think with that, you always need to get something as good as or better. You don't want to go down, so that's that's one of the drawbacks I don't like. Dual microphones. That's a good thing to have. Seeing as this computer only has one microphone, having dual it gives it that stereo effect. It's very very good. I like that. That's an improvement. Headphone ports, which we've always had. Optical uh, digital support for Apple headsets and blah blah blah. Okay, that's all standard. Now let's go down here and look at some of this stuff right here. Headphone jack. That's cool. Uh, SD. XC card slot. Now that's uh, cool. That's some technology that's coming. Of course, you got your USB slots. I'd like to see some FireWire slots. I don't know why there are any FireWire slots. That, that, the fact there's no FireWire kind of ticks me off. Because um, I've got several devices that are FireWire. So that would, I would either have to get an adapter or probably a Thunderbolt or a FireWire Thunderbolt adapter because. Could you have FireWire to USB, but that would slow it down. So probably what I'd have to do is get a FireWire, a Thunderbolt adapter. Of course, you get your Ethernet for plugging in your... Uh, that's how I do my... Um, connect to the Internet, so that's important. Again, there's... I wish they had FireWire. I hate that they take things out like that. FireWire... A lot of people use those devices, and I just... I don't understand why they're taking this stuff out. I really don't. It's not that big of a deal. It's not that more of an expense. I just... This is where Tim Cook, the CEO of Apple, needs to be replaced. Or whoever's making these decisions to replace that stuff. Uh, it's just... It shouldn't be done. Input, yeah, your keyboard, of course your wireless, magic mouse, your tra magic trackpad, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, which is all the things. Here's your dimensions, basically. It's... in the background making noise. <laughs> Here's your electrical, if you're interested in the uh, electrical operating requirements, which I'm not. Uh, limited warranty, there's your information there. Uh, include software, comes OS 10 outline, and all these titles right here, which is basically your uh, standard uh, software. Um, of course, when you configure or you can change your you can add or take away depending on how much you want to spend and what you want. Normally, it's just a matter of money because uh, the more you get, the better, the more it costs. You got the, uh, the environmental information. For those of you who are interested, I mean, of course, it means all the regular stuff. And it's environmentally friendly to the best of their Apple's ability, which is really cool. Uh, accessories and other information, and blah, blah, blah. But let's go back to the top, and uh, I just think I think it looks cool. It's thin. It's gonna be awesome. Um, but again, where's the Blu-ray? Where's the Blu-ray? I mean, of course you can plug in an external Blu-ray, but I think not having one internal is a setback. I wish they would use that technology. I just sometimes I wonder. I just. Ugh. Anyway, Blu-ray should be there. It's not. It's awesome technology. Anyway, so there it is. It's pretty. It's thin. It's lightweight. Uh, it seems to be all Apple cares about nowadays is thinner and lightweight, which is cool. It's thinner and lightweight, but that shouldn't be their main focus, I don't think. Um, it does look good. So I mean, no doubt about it. Um, but uh, overall, I'm very impressed. Like I said, there's a few things I wish they would add, like uh, Firewire and uh, Blu-ray. But aside from that, uh, it's pretty nice. So there's your basic information. And until next time, I'm Ryan Roos. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And may God bless you.